source for unreliable information reliably. I'm your host, Gina Caputo. This week, I took to the streets of Sarah Lawrence to discover what students thought about the upcoming election. Some students were more excited than others. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I'm a little nervous, I guess. Super excited. I can vote, and that's pretty cool. That's very cool. I'm not American. <laughs> I'm not American, so I can't vote. I'm also kind of worried because, you know, Canada. Mm -hmm. Not quite sure. Well, I do want to move to Canada. I want to see new places. I and mean, Canada is on my list of new places. So, you know, if things go one way, I get to move to Canada. Um, if things go another way, I get to stay here. So, you know, that's pretty exciting. As a test, I first asked them to list the candidates. I was impressed to see that some of the students were aware of all of the candidates on the ballot and had very strong opinions about them. Um, like toast with butter? I fucking love toast with butter. Toast with peanut butter. Fucking amazing. Toast with Nutella. Fucking amazing. Like cinnamon raisin toast? Toast with jam? I can go there. I love toast. Toast? I don't like toast as much as my roommate from last year. Toast with whipped cream? Oh my god. But, um, toast is good. Toast with chocolate. Toast with chocolate and peanut butter. Ooh, toast on fucking toast action. Ooh, baby. Clearly there was many a political slash fic to be written, but there was no time for that, and we got back to hard-hitting news. Next, I asked them what they thought of the Waffle Party's negative advertising techniques. I'd rather see politicians talk about what's good about their arguments, because that seems way more productive. I'm not bothered by it, I just know who I'm going to vote for. It doesn't matter what other advertisement there is, but swinging or regardless. I feel like they take things out of context, and then they say, oh, this side says this, this, this. And obviously, like, that one sentence, like, the side doesn't care about children. Well, it's never like that, but it sounds like that, and it's completely out of context, and it just makes both sides look ridiculous. Although the woman in the last clip was just trying to be polite, we here at Midnight Cabaret News know the real truth. The Waffle Party does not care about your children. Those bastards. Uh, are you going to vote? Totally going to vote. Do you think everyone else should, too? I think everyone should vote, and they should vote for us. Toast. That's probably not a good thing to say, but fuck it, we're at Sarah Lawrence. That's it for this week's episode of Midnight Cabaret News. And remember, vote toast. Toast for a crunchier America.